The year of the National Hunt Cup is next then, and this is a 0 to 124 mile handicap. So get yourself a drink for this one. Top one, put the kettle on, David Hooley. Robin Knights, Darren Thompson, Motafara, Dano, Alex Cherry, Sang Blur, Craig Beckwith, Dictate Ross, Martin Leader, Moonsell Tavern, David Robertson, Lexington, Dirty, Vinnie Gerard, Reynaldo, Alex Cherry, Five Star, David Hooley, Catching Over Hassel, Thomas Rogers, Elevated Splor for Craig Allen, Stagecoach, Graham Clutterbuck, Segra Tetza, Lexi for James Shade, Charlie Two, Thomas Rogers, Da Vinci, Paul Rhodes, Sonic to dream for James Shea and Taya Coba for B Fotheringham and 17 of us then in this and that may be Fotheringham's first Cheltenham Festival run up they're away and racing and coming down towards the first then of the fences in this the rain's coming down again now it's kept away for most of the big races well, I think it went around while the champion hurdle was on but they're racing down towards the first of 25 that they've got to take in this and as they get to it I'll get over the other side of it, although five star did his best to get rid of the jockey, so no first fence drama like we've had already today. As they get over that one, okay, and they get over the second now, and then all over the second as well. So, stagecoach has opened up a clear lead of six lengths, racing down towards the next of the fences, and this is the third, and stagecoach landed in the lead and the rest of them get over it okay so Graham Clutterbuck's already had one winner so far today a first and second so he'll be happy enough with that and Ronaldo in second for Alex Cherry he's had one as well so Robin Knights is third and then Segretetz Alexi is fourth with Catching Over Hassel and then Motafari Danai Dictate Ross the grey is next just a one grey in this one this time which is a bit unusual we've put a few greys in the races earlier today but this probably one of the biggest fields of the day so far and we've just got the one grey so stagecoach in the lead then by about six or seven to Reynaldo in second and then Segretetz Alexi as they take the next one Segretetz Alexi was a bit slow over that one and elevated Splore was extremely untidy at the back and almost down on his nose got away with it well, they get to number five and once again some of them not exactly foot perfect I win too many Awards for tidiness if it was like some sort of jumping exhibition type thing, but they're all still on their feet and they've all still got jockeys in the saddle, so that's all that matters really as they make their way towards the next with Stagecoach, a clear leader by six or seven lengths and took that one really slowly but got over it okay. A long way to go, so hopefully that one's not getting tired already. There's still three miles to go and jump that one really slowly as well and there was a mistake by Segra Tetz Alexi and that one's seen that one shuffle down the pack as well so one or two of these then don't appear to be travelling all that well as they make their way past the stands they've got two complete circuits to go and Stagecoach despite those two slow jumps is still a good four clear and jump that one much better and as a fall of their Segra Tetz Alexi's gone so she'd made a mistake at the fence before and didn't learn the lesson and he's out of the race with another mistake and ultimately a four and that one's out so stagecoach is the leader by a good five or six lengths getting over that one to Reynaldo second Sonic to Dream third then there's a gap of another three lengths to the grey dictate Ross Sang Blur and Robin Knights together, then Motafari Dano after that one, five star is also there as they get over the water and as usual nothing dramatic happening at the water jump and Stagecoach appears to be jumping at a regular speed again now and there's a good six clear of Sonic to Dream as they get to this ditch which they all get to the other side of Elevated Splore the back marker of the main group, Da Vinci you can see there is just about four or five lengths detached probably a bit further than that to be honest as they get over that one that's number 12 which they all got over okay uh, there's an awful long way still to go and stagecoach is continuing to lead from Ronaldo is in second Sonic to Dream is third and Dictate Ross is four then Sang Blur five and Modafore Dane six and five stars seven then Robin Knights eight and Catching Over Hassle nine and then put the kettle on a Moonsell Tavern as they take that ditch which they all get over okay as well the Tayakoba the one that's just dropped to the back of the main pack but Stagecoach is as clear as Da Vinci was behind Da Vinci's now been pulled up so Da Vinci's out of the race and Stagecoach is the leader 
by six to Reynaldo second. Sang Blurs now move through into third, then Sonic to Dream, Dictate Ross wide on the track, the grey, with that one being trapped by Motifare Danai and catching over Hassel, and the leader went right through the top of that one, and also down on its nose again, elevated Splaw, so it's the same horses that are making the mistakes, and Stagecoach lead down to a little more than three now, with Reynaldo second, Dictate Ross the grey on the outside is now third, then Sang Blur is fourth, catching over Hassel, five star, and Motifar Red Danai getting closer, Sonic to Dream and Moon South Tavern also, and then Lexington Dirty and put the kettle on. The three were a bit detached now are Charlie too, Elevated Splore and Taya Cobra, but they're already coming back up this uh, straight, this will be the last next time round, or possibly the second last, depending on which quarter on Taya Cobra made a mistake again at the back, that one will be the second last, this one will be the last, and over it they go, and they're all safely over that one, and we see them from the stand again, around to swing left-handed and race through the rain, over to the back straight, and around for one more circuit at Presbury Park in this year of the National Hunt Chase, and it's Stagecoach who leads, but only by just a little bit more than two lengths now to Reynaldo, who has been second throughout as they get to this next one, and over that one they go, and they're all safely over it, the ones that are still in the race, only lost the two so far, Da Vinci pulled up the Segretetta Letzi, a faller some time ago, but Stagecoach will lead them into the next as it's led them into them all so far, Reynaldo is in second and Sangbler is third, Robin Knights is four, Moon South Savard and then Dictate Ross and Sonic the Dream, five star closes to us as they get over, number 18, Elevated Splore getting much closer as well, Taya Koba, the back marker in the pink jacket, is not that far behind and is still in contention. But it's Stagecoach in the lead, racing down towards the water jump next, I should think, as they get down to it. Stagecoach stood off it, but got over it well. The Reynaldo's in second, Sangler is third. The field are beginning to bunch then now with just a little more than a mile to go. It's a wide open race, you pay your money, you take your choice, you can back just about anything so far as they get over that ditch and over it. It was Stagecoach to the money, catching over Hassel. Has moved through in a second. Sang Blur. Look at this Motifar Ed Danai creeping into it now. Then five star Moon Cell Tavern. Dictate Ross over that one. They go. That was the 21st as a faller there. Sonic to Dream's gone. So Sonic to Dream is out of the race. And it's Stagecoach in the lead from Motifar Ed Danai in second. Sang Blur is third. Then catching over Hassel. Moon Cell Tavern. Robin Knights. Dictate Ross. Reynaldo's losing his place. Elevated Splore is trying to get into it. This is a ditch. It's the 22nd. And over it they go. And it's still. Stagecoach in the lead. Stagecoach from Motifare Danai and Sangbler, these three. And as we see them racing away, then they're now towards the final three fences. And it's Stagecoach in the lead. Motifare Danai, Sangbler around the outside in the purple jacket. He's coming through to challenge. Reynaldo's having a renaissance as well, but it's Five Star who's hit the front. Five Star from Ronaldo is now back in the race again in second. It's Five Star and Ronaldo. These two may be pulling clear as they come down towards the third from home. They've still got over full four longs to go, they're over to third, last they go and it's five star in the lead Ronaldo on the inside is second big gap of five lengths, then the rest of them are headed by Motifar and Danai and Robin Knights, it's five star and Ronaldo, got it between them at the moment they've got two more fences to take and it's five star in the purple jacket on the outside, Ronaldo with the orange sleeves on the inside coming down towards the second last fence then now, Ronaldo just poking its head in front again, five star in second Robin Knights and Elevated Splore running on then Moon South Tavern and Charlie too. They're coming out towards the final couple of fences. And Renaldo's in the lead. Five star second. Elevated Splore is now jumping really well and has moved into second. It's Renaldo in the lead from Elevated Splore. Robin Knights want to jump over the final fence. They go. Renaldo's over it in front. Renaldo's still in the lead. Elevated Splore is closing. There's still a far long to go. It's Renaldo. Elevated Splore getting close and Renaldo is racing towards the line. He needs a lot of Elevated Splore. He's beginning to get up on the outside. Elevated Explorer Ronaldo is a head bob and Ronaldo and Elevated Explore and they're coming up towards the line they flash past the post together and Elevated Explore might have just taken it on the outside it's difficult to tell long time leader Stagecoach pulled up in the closing stages but Ronaldo looked like it had it but Elevated Explore may have got up to take it it's mighty close after four miles that could be the second winner of the week 
The third winner of the week for Craig Allen is indeed Elevated Splore takes it for Craig Allen. Ronaldo for Alex Jerry was second. I thought he was going to get a double there. Robin Knights for Darren Thompson. Third, Moonsail Tavern for David Robertson. Fourth, and Charlie too was fifth. And that was for Thomas Rogers. An exciting finish. Elevated Splore despite some really dodgy jumping early on. Gets up and takes it by a head.